Hi everyone, this is Philip Barton from the Sphinx Society. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Fantasy Leaf Blade Bastard Sword by Angus Trim. Uh, as you can see, it has this beautiful leaf shaped blade that narrows at the end of the strong and then swells out here in the cutting portion of the blade. Uh, as the name states, this is not a long sword, this is a bastard sword. Uh, the blade length is 29 and a half inches. Point of balance is about three and a half inches. It has an eight inch grip with plenty of room for two hands, but it's really more of a single hand sword. It feels much better, handles much better in one hand. Um, also, as the name states, this is a fantasy blade. Um, historically, there were leaf shaped blades, but um, they're much smaller. Um, some of the, the Bronze Age leaf shaped blades uh, also the Celtic uh, leaf blade. They were just on a much smaller scale. There are none with a, a blade that, that, that came close to 30 inches like this one. Um, the leaf blade allows for a, a thinner and potentially more effective cutting edge uh, through the cutting section because when you expand the blade using the same amount of steel, you're thinning out the cutting edge and making it potentially more effective. Also with the, the change in mass distribution, uh, potentially this area will, will hit harder and, and improve the cutting performance as well. Uh, this weekend I did some cutting with this sword, uh, custom tatami mats. So let's take a look at that footage and see how well this sword cuts tatami. So as you can see in that cutting footage, uh, this blade cuts very well, and it is possible to cut with a sword in two hands. But what you may not be able to see is it takes a lot more effort. Um, it's much easier to cut with a sword in one hand. And Gus will tell you that. Um, some people seeing pictures of this blade uh, online um, got excited saying, oh, look, a, a leaf bladed uh, long sword. And he's quick to say, well, no, this is a, a bastard sword and it's really really more at home in one hand than two, and it is. Um, it cuts very well. I find that it cuts best right through, as you might expect, right through the center of the, uh, the leaf section. Um, if you go forward of that, the cutting drops off somewhat, uh, especially with the sword in two hands. Uh, in one hand, it feels powerful. Uh, in two hands, it feels a bit overly light, uh, especially with that close point of balance. But overall, uh, I've been impressed with this sword, and as I say, it's a it's a it's a favorite because it's 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 a very beautiful design, and you don't see a lot of leaf bladed uh, bastard swords or long swords out there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hope you found it interesting, and thank you very much for watching.